hey guys welcome to scotch ug i'm um, in this episode of this video i'm going to show you how you can um activate drop pair onto your server using the adm script in the map previous video i show you how to install drop uh, this script onto your server you can use what we call this ssh and um, let me show you if you have a server you can use this ssh okay just this ssh or tamias okay tamias not tamax but tamias and uh, the reason uh, why i dislike tamax because tamax is offline the moment you go offline that's it you won't be that server won't be online which you've created so you can use this you can use this ssh or you can use any uh, of your choice okay now let's continue back to our tutorial let's go back to our server now what you need to do here is to enter adm in my previous video i showed you how to install the script there we go so today i want to show you how you can uh, activate drop pair drop pair by just uh, uh, tapping you press enter by the time i'm making this video and um, the command uh, the option is eight i don't know in the in the coming updates i don't know how the author will update it so let's activate drop pair well you can enter any any port of your choice depending on your country um, i'm going to enter 10 11 0 and 1 4 3 uh, i'm entering this that port those three ports are going to be assigned and uh, the next thing is for you to create a user a, sorry a user to be now you click in because these are for advanced and i would really like to go into that so we can uh, get a user here manage users and we see details of all users remember in our previous video we created a user which is scott ug and his password so that is uh, the next step for you to do is to go to your tunneling uh, app let me show you how uh, okay the tunneling app uh, commonly i know most of you use gcs sorry use uh, injector so you can use that and then you come here um you enter the ip address of that server ip address okay and then after that you enter the port any port so we have created the port uh when you check out with this video when you check out here okay when you check out with these ports you're going to see um port 11 for drop pair port 143 and port 142 uh, for sshd is always port uh, 22 you can change it but as well i don't recommend you to change it so changing it um you need to be knowing what you're doing so i'll put 110 okay we are trying to create a vpn here and see if we are if we shall be connected to our server and uh, we need to get the ip address of this server okay the ip address i had copied it somewhere here okay mm -hmm. I'm entering the IP address here. Uh, the IP address, let me just paste it there. Okay. And then I'll enter the username. Remember the username which you've created is Scott UG. Um, I created that user last time in my video. And then I created again Scott UG. Sorry about the password scott ug okay you're going to see if we can create a vpn you, you can control connect to our vpn using uh, this apk so to avoid this uh, i'm not going into poll sorry uh payroll degeneration so i'm going to use a direct uh, method let me see if we have we shall be connected uh-huh when you check here um the user has been detected scott ug and then the password is successful that means uh 
uh, our server has allowed us to prove that uh, we have been connected to our own server the first thing we show we saw that uh, we are connected and we are surfing the net to our server as well we can see that uh, if i type in i type in adm and then i'll go to manage users then i'll go to um, monitor users connected so i'll see i'll enter seven and uh, you'll see that uh, here they will show you that uh, squat ug is online with uh, one connection and uh, is, is supposed to be having four connections onto the server so if if a toad reaches four there's what we call it, the server will uh, will filter out to that fourth uh, the fourth connection so and this uh, this doesn't necessarily mean that the fourth connection uh, is the one which will be disconnected but even if the third one um, happens to lose packets to the server and then the other fourth one goes through then the third one won't be allowed through so that's it so it depends on the person you've given that file and uh, each and everything so we can go back to our let me minimize this server here oh uh, yeah okay now if i go through this after that you're free to uh, export this file and send it to anyone you want